Hi guys, this is Jason.com and I'm here with a brand new flip phone. It's called the ZTE Nubia Flip and we're dealing here with a handset which is part of the mid-range segment. This is the external screen with features like uh, the main area, the camera area, the weather, the music player, the calendar and the uh, step count, timer and audio recording. I'm guessing you can also do some customization here. You can set the wallpaper from here or for the main setting. We have two cameras here, 50 megapixel and a secondary one, probably macro. This is the flash and this is the main screen. The main screen is a 6.9 inch, it's an AMOLED with high refresh rate, 120 hertz. The phone is supposed to be more affordable because it's part of the mid-range segment. It comes with a Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 and I'm also curious about the amount of RAM. I'm expecting it to have at least uh, 8 gigs. RAM capacity 8 gigs, you can also expand the RAM with the extended RAM feature. Uh, you can actually go as high as 12 gigabytes. Okay, so it runs on Android 13 with Mi OS on top, Nubia Flip 5G. It's obviously a 5G phone with an AMOLED screen and uh, you can also do some customization from here to its well, external panels. Outer screen, you can customize the wallpapers, which are quite good looking. And you can even have a pet on the external screen, which you can groom and take care of. And static wallpapers, you also have your live wallpapers. And then there are the always on display features here with beautiful clocks. And finally, outer display features. As I said before, there's camera, weather, music, calendar, agenda, fitness, timer, and voice recorder. And speaking of camera, this is how it's triggered. So you go here, you tap on it, and right now you're using the two cameras here, which can be either the main one or the secondary one, which I still have to figure out. Okay, so, of course, you have this uh, fold here down the middle. The crease is visible, perhaps so much as a Motorola from two years ago. This is what the phone looks like closed. It closed perfectly without a gap. And this is the hinge with the Nubia logo on it. It feels a bit beefier and thicker than its rivals. There's the power button with the fingerprint scanner inside. And once you open it up, you also treat it with a camera interface, which, uh, by the way, here we have a 16 megapixel selfie camera. And this is what the flex mode looks like. So the top part is the interface and the bottom part are the options of the camera. The camera includes portraits, night, video, photo, there's a pro mode and a camera family with extras like slow motion, time lapse, full size document, panorama and mono color. So that's the phone in a nutshell. It's a mid-range flip phone which you don't see every day in the foldable segment. It's supposed to be very compact, fit in your pocket and it's got a uh, 4310 um, milliampere hour battery with a 33 watt fast charging. Here I have the beige version I would say, that's the color version which we have here and uh, there could also be a uh, well purple one uh, which is a bit more feminine and good looking so you can select which one you want. I actually prefer this one better uh, because uh, I've seen this color before on an Oppo handset I think and Samsung also had the lavender one so yeah. The build is a bit more rough than the one of its rivals showing its true mid-range identity and the crease once again visible but it doesn't bother me that much for a mid-range handset. The rumored price is $900 but I would have liked it to be smaller uh, to make it properly appealing. That's it from jsno.com. This has been the hands-on from Mobile World Congress with the Nubia Flip 5G. Goodbye.